Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of MHP Gaming. I'm AJ. And I'm Hawk. And today we are going to continue our Let's Play of Wild Arms. Thank you for joining the party. Let's go on an adventure. Uh, let's see what happens when we get caught by this light. Intruder alert. Area 51. Sending oh. the volume. Burial. 3, 2, 1. Yup. I was wondering if it was a golem, actually. Didn't we fight Burial? I do not th think we fought Burial. No, I guess we didn't. Alright, well, looks like that was it. Let's hoping we can survive Burial. Yeah, why not? Beatrix Kiddo did. Mm -hmm. These people have magic. Oh boy. If I'm not mistaken, Burial is actually pretty tough. I think he mostly dishes physical. It trying looks to like it. You really fucked up looking goal, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah, and that one that uh looked like the bottom half of a snake body on top of like a or on the bottom of a dark angel. That one looked normal. Yeah. Oh, it's normal. But not a snake body, snake bones. For the lower half. And like one of those Evangelion things with wings for a top. Mm-hmm. Evan Gelly in there, something we've seen in forever. <laughs> you know, if we were smart, we'd have stopped and like put more reflex apples on Cecilia at some point to make her go first, since we always seem to want her to go first. Yeah. That, well, that, we didn't. That would have been a smart person thing to do. I get so used to them going in, you know, the order I've always played that I don't, like, think of that. And even, like, Rudy going before Cecilia still kind of trips me up. <laughs> Does that make sense? Totally. Even if it's wrong when you're in the habit of it, your strategy is based around it. So completely throwing off your strategy throws off everything. Mm -hmm. Jack, leave some for the rest of us. Doing what he does. Okay, this might suck. That was not as bad as advertised. <laughs> no. Movie review of the century. <laughs> not as bad as advertised. <laughs> <laughs> for a detect called genocide, there was significantly Any Lord low Marine? genocide. Yeah. I was gonna say, watch him just cast it on Cecilia. Is this just gonna be a game of taking the armor up and down? <laughs> yeah, uses up his turns. Well, no! Mind, he wow! Wow. Well, he wasn't optional, so it makes I, sense. I think I lucky. Really I hope I lucky card in this one. You did on your first turn. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I get that out of the way on the first turn. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of another game where Burial was actually really kind of tough. Probably an Alter Code. I think he was, like, really fast. Alright, well, we should be able to move on. Yay! I like how the door automatically opens when the guard is beaten. Uh, yeah, when the guard is beaten. Really good security system set up right there. Well, I just got locked in a death room, so, you know. This is the power switch for the dimensional elevator. The destination reads Cuttingle. Do you want to activate it? I can go home. Yay. Unfortunately, you have to walk all the way back up. Yeah. Whee! And Cecilia's just sitting nicely. Oh, she's probably holding her skirt down. Oh my god, yeah! She probably is. <laughs> Dimensional elevator's power switch. Hey, now I gotta walk all the way back down Cadengle. Or GTFO. One of these days I'm gonna stop forgetting about that damn spell. <laughs> One of these days, guys. 
So yeah, at least like at the remake, you can just kind of, you know. Leave whenever you yeah, want. Yeah, warp between the floors. Oh. Well, you brought up to me that we never did fight. That's the true. Meg. Do we know how? Oh god, I'm not even 100 huh. percent sure. Yeah. Why don't you go uh, to Adlahide, get all healed up, get Rudy's arm built up, and I shall go to the internet and look it up. Yeah. We, yeah, that was something like, okay, so maybe you don't lock yourself in this game as much as I thought. I don't remember that you could teleport yourself out right before the final boss, because I'm pretty sure that's the next stop is the final boss. Is, uh, all final bosses. What was the name of that in this game? Adult Meg. Okay. You sure it was named that? I don't know. All I know is I think it was in Zeppet's old house. Hey Emma, I found the rest of the golems. You did? <laughs> I destroyed them. <laughs> you did. I brought back a piece of each of them. At Zeppet's house? I thought so. Uh, so I guess I'll upgrade Arc Smash for all the good it does me at the end of the goddamn game. It's a completion thing, right? <laughs> well, you're already here. Okay, so I guess, yeah, you, like I said, I forgot that teleporter was there, but it does look like you do get kind of soft-locked into Melduke for a little while until you complete the three zones, so. Warning to that. I think in Alter Code, that's the one thing you absolutely have to have Zed for, is to do the Adult Mag. <laughs> because you have to have the three guys in your front right. line in order to do it. Okay, I think our dog is upstairs, like, scratching or something. <laughs> His foot's, like, banging the floor. Whoa, hi, that was the dryer. <laughs> that is not the first time you've yelled about the dryer on camera. Nope. Or stream, whatever the hell we do. Yeah, yeah, I get so into it. Catches me off guard. Alright. Is there anything else I needed? What was the name of that place where it was? I can't remember. Oh, wow. I think it was called, like, Forgotten Ruins or something. It was called the Forgotten Ruins? Yeah. If I remember, wasn't it, like, right near uh, Calamity Jane's hometown? Yes, it is, which is... Forgotten ruins are literally just where you grab the Ocarina, so that's not it. Yes, that is. Huh? Ocarina? Yeah, that's the Forgotten Ruins. Yeah, yeah, that's not where the book is. Huh. 
Yeah, if I remember, it was in that abandoned laboratory of uh, Zeppets. Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, for, I'm just showing the Forgotten Ruins is just a house that has an ocarina in it, not a dungeon. Yeah, it's not a dungeon. Okay, well, what about the dungeon? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember being in a dungeon. I remember it, it being in that dungeon where we find the Speedy Shoes, where we went to... Uh... Oh, Epitaph! Epitaph. Durr. Okay, yeah, Epitaph's right over here. Yeah, I remember it was I, just I got east it mixed there. up. Yeah, Zeppet's old lab. It's an epitaph. That's right here. He's looking, folks. He's yep. See about this fight. If there's anything even worth getting in it, really. well, you can head on over there and see if you can figure out I don't anything even yourself. Where it is. I think it was in the upper right of of a map at one point. You can run. Yeah, I got stuff. <laughs> ah, we got out of it. I was starting to fear for my life for a moment there. <laughs> Dirty mag. Okay, I just found a post on Game FAQs. Uh, somebody was asking about it. Uh, apparently, it is not a boss. No. No, nah, apparently, that and uh, two are the ones that don't have adult mag bosses. Aww. Erotica. Not yet. But there's nothing you can do with it? I'm not seeing anything. Damn. That's a wasted trip. <laughs> Alright, so is there anything else we needed to do here? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the only real things left are the uh, arena and the abyss. Uh, I'm not too particularly interested in doing either of those. Yeah, both of those are a bit of a time commitment and not really huge payoff. Yeah. Alright. Back to where we came from. Back from whence we came. Eh? Press the wrong button. No, I couldn't unpress it. You can't unpress a button. Just like you can't uncook an egg. Hello, Asgard. Did you miss us? Why did you leave me? Alright, now to get back up to Dingle. Time to climb the Dingle. Time to climb your Dingle. Nope. Uh, you think that joke could get old, and it does. Nope. Don't 
god, I don't even remember how to get up here. I think it was the other way. Probably. Oh, fuck you! You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Ugh, some whore. Yes, I use Vulcan. What?! <laughs> we won't let you get away! Run! You know, there's some enemies in this series that do that crap that they won't let you run away, but then they run away. I've had actually had- this is the only game I have- like, this series is the only series I have ever come across that, if I'm not mistaken, where enemies will prevent you from running away, and then run away. Oh, he stole your mystic apple. Well, he's dead, so... I always like it in the Dragon Quest series when you get ambushed by metal slimes, who then use their uh, free ambush turn to run away. Hmm. Yeah, that's always a fun one, too. It's like, just, just why? Why? That that's not clever or difficult or anything. That's annoying as hell. Where the flowers at? Up top. There on the right. Their fault. Two. Yeah, I think you were right. It was the other way. Why don't I just listen to you? <laughs> You know, that's a good question. I don't have an answer for it. So, this one? Yep. Are you sure? Uh, mostly. You're doing well. Whoa. whoa. What the hell? Well, how'd I miss that? Oh, we didn't. Oh, yeah, okay. Looks like it just reset itself. <laughs> Damn sense. dungeon resetters built that wall and <laughs> I just blew it right back down. Ah, dungeon resetter. Good gig if you can get it. I think that's one we might do. <laughs> we got a few fun things planned. And hopefully if all goes according to plan with graphics and crap like that. Yeah. Some good stuff coming. Where the hell am I? I have no idea where I am. You're on the right track. Still? Uh, no. Now you want to go back. Down. Down. That's where I was when I said I was on... You right. Were, you, were, you lied to me. <laughs> you said... Oh. Okay. Alright, now I know where to go. Alright. Through that door. Up. And in my defense, it doesn't sound like you know where to go either. I don't. It's up the stairs. And then south. This place is a freaking maze. Yeah, what the hell, just kill me. Cost Jack all one MP. I'll never get that back! Now to go eat a carrot. Cause eat your carrots, Jack. I don't like my veggies. <laughs> so he's apparently five. <laughs> yeah, you gotta sneak him into his mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Just cause that does kind of sound like something Hand Hand would say. <laughs> What was that about my mashed potatoes? Uh, I'm making them tonight. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Right. Uh, you're Down. ruining my characters, <laughs> damn right. you. Up. And continue along this way. You're ruining, you're <laughs> ruining all the things I love. Uh, you know what? Uh, I, at this point, I do not remember. You know, I definitely... Oh, I think it was actually left you wanted to go. Yeah, I definitely have my criticisms about this game, like the translation. 
way the battle system looks with the pod, with the 3D, or attempted 3D here, but it definitely has personality in space. And that's what I love about it. I love things with personality, things with, you know, just fun characters, stuff like that. That's what really drives me, and that's part of why I really like this story, is because, like, Comparing this to Chrono Trigger, there's a lot of things Chrono Trigger did better, but when it comes to personality and the characters, this game beats Chrono Trigger, in my opinion. Like, hands down. I don't think it's better than Chrono Trigger, but I then don't. again, it's because I grew up with Chrono Trigger, and, uh... Chrono Trigger's characters in. were planned as hell. Eh, I like them, but then again, like, I grew up with them. I have more of a nostalgia factor with them than you do. I've had a... You know, this, I was introduced to them differently than you. But this game definitely has personality that... Oh, you just have to solve this again? Fun. And then I go hit the last one? Uh, I think you were only supposed to hit the outside too, but I guess we can go experiment. Yeah, this game has personality that shines through, even uh, through the bad translation. Well, let's hop down and start hitting right, switches. Hit a switch. How do I get back here? No, no, back through the door. I hate this. I seriously hate this dungeon. <laughs> it's so nice in the other game that they just let you warp between the damn floors so you can freely go back and forth without a hell of a lot of complication. That does sound convenient. Alright, where? Through the door. Push either switch. Go back around. Back around where? Um, all the way around through the area that we've been at. And I have to, to go the all the way around through here. Yes. Oh my god. I am sorry about this episode, guys. <laughs> back this way. No, down and left. I'll do there. Alright, now hit the button on the left. This one? Yep. Now go around, jump off. And then pull both uh, levers. What would I be without you? <laughs> uh, still struggling with this puzzle the first time. Yeah, I forgot about this puzzle. I like how they built it so that you have to solve it every time you want to come through the dungeon. Yeah, that's a bitch. That is a cruel, cruel bitch. Wild Arms is a cruel mistress. She is. She'll chew you up and spit you out, and you'll be missing an arm. Sounds like Rudy's kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, Rudy's all, I'm into that. He may act all innocent and naive. <laughs> Yes, because we know innocent people walk around with explosives. Come on. I don't think I go that way. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Alright, I guess it is that way. This looks right. No, it doesn't. You're just saying that because I said it. No, I'm saying it because I'm just not optimistic. <laughs> Aha, and then right through that door should be the teleporter. Here? I think so. Well, I guess we're not going to find out for another minute. <laughs> Either way, we should be able to end this next episode. That's a promise. <laughs> that is a promise. I don't care how long it takes. I promise nothing. Rawr. That's such a cute little case. I know. That'd be adorable. I don't want to kill it. Just give us your case and we'll let you live. We'd rather die. 
Okay, I was wrong. You have to keep going. You were absolutely wrong. Yep, okay. We're getting there. Sorry, it's just I don't like this place and I erased it from my memory. <laughs> Battle on the bridge. Okay, I don't have to do this again, do I? No. Did I have a fight on that bridge? Nah. But if uh, Gilgamesh was around, he would. Yeah. Oh, Gilgamesh is here. He's harassing blind chicks. <laughs> yeah, more or less. In his Zed form. You look like you have experience. You look like you've experienced a thing or two. Prepare to experience death. The final experience. Brought to you by Jack. Or not. Cecilia gonna stone it to death. Death brought to you by getting stoned. You say that you'll piss off the stoners, <laughs> and they're usually mellow. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be cool with it. Emanates. That's a fun word, emanate. I wonder if Emma invented it. <laughs> Or did it invent her? See, there's uh, some fake philosophy for the stoners. Oh, wow. All the way back down here? It'd be nice if it lets you just jump right back to the boss. I hope it does. Guess we'll find out. Wee. I like how Rudy's flailing and Jack's just like, this is sweet. My arm is malfunctioning. Jack be like, last time I saw this many colors, I was so fucking high. <laughs> um. Welcome back to the first floor. Am I there? Is this the first floor? Sure is. Son of a cock. Okay, I don't even remember how to get back. Left. Oh, uh, see, now this is one thing where this game really fucked up. <laughs> that was so not worth going back just to upgrade oh. one gun. Uh, oh, wait, no, left. You sure? Nope. Looks like this one. Yeah, that was one area this game really did a crap job. Was like, you know, having to redo all this shit. Yeah, one huge criticism. Yeah, that is a little mean. And this is a little bit absurd. I am not a fucking hamster, guys. <laughs> I think Jack just got newfound respect for Ham Pan. My second cousin's a hamster. A ham hamster? <laughs> yeah, I'll shut up now. That was almost as bad as one of mine. But yeah, that, that's really lame that if you want to go back, you have to go through the entire dungeon. And then at least you can, like, warp yourself out of Kabangle, but then you gotta go all the way back through Kabangle, then back through here. At least you don't have to do the three different zones. I can just continue on. Yeah, we can on. skip that. It'll be reasonably faster that way. 
Yeah, still. Stupid. Grappling hook. Yep. Damn it. <laughs> Thought I could sneak by. Why didn't you help me hook? was like this is a fairly older game and this is from back in the area uh, the area the era where they really didn't hold your hands with games and they like generally wouldn't be nice about things like final uh, final dungeons that's not hand holding it's called not being a dick yeah but that wasn't something they really gave you back in the old day <laughs> yeah i know still dickish that was back when they made RPGs like hard, and you really you had to work for it. And if you died, you lost stuff. Mm -hmm. As opposed to nowadays, where when you die, usually the game just gives you know just hey here keep everything you got plus here's a couple of gold for your trouble. We'll start you over at the last save point. Yeah, or it's like oh well, we can make it easier oh, for yeah. you like Horizon. Or no wait no no that wasn't Cold Steel. Right? Yeah, Cold Steel did that where it's like oh are you having trouble? Let's make it easier for you and it's like fuck you game i do think i had to take that once because like that game i don't know it's like it wasn't hard but there was a couple fights that were just on a, spike. a stupid high spike and i like i failed it the first time and then I tried to fight it again, and I got, like, right up to the end of the fight, and I lost on a cheap shot. That game likes cheap shots. That's another one right there. That game has some cheap fucking shots. Was that the sewer dogs? It might have been the sewer dogs. And it's like, you know what? Fuck it. I have to do this. I, I, I have to weaken the boss to get through this. And then I did. And I think that's, like, maybe the only time I did that. Like, any other time, it's like when I, I had to redo a fight, it's like, okay, oh, I, I figured out how this works. It's yeah, like, we I, got the gimmick. I had to figure it out. But, you know, no, that one fight, dude, it's like, oh, no, no, this is stupid. But, yeah, I got I got cheesed on a couple fights there. Yeah, well, here we are. You're going back down? Oh, no, no, I thought that was a save. All right. No, yeah, I guess this is a good spot to end it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the boss is just through there. Well, we'll be picking it up next time and perhaps heading to the finale. Thank you for joining us for another episode of MHP Gaming. Like, comment, and subscribe as you see fit. Check our description down below to find our Discord. Head there to make suggestions for games you want to see us make each other play. Other than that, see ya.